discovered Didn't care for one another You and I You and I Thought I was okay Till something in me changed Don't know why Don't know why You got me high but I'm sober You make me lonely when I'm by myself Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a Sunday reset. And before I get into this video, I'm just going to tell you guys I told my vlog channel my son and daughter, my son and daughter, my son and his girlfriend actually never made it in. These poor kids. It's a long story. We rented them a car and everything was fine, you know, on our end, blah, 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 blah. These kids are packed, ready to go. They go to turn up. And because they couldn't hand them a major credit card to hold while they were away these five days with us, they ran credit checks. And these kids don't have no credit. So they couldn't rent the car because they didn't have a major credit card or have good enough credit to rent their rent car. So, and no one told us that when we put the $150 down to hold the car and blah, 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 all the rigmarole. And we couldn't put it in our name because if we put it in our name, then Jeff has to be the primary driver and you have to be there in person. So it wouldn't work. We spent hours trying to get these kids here. Um, I felt terrible. They were all packed, ready to go. We were ready. So our goal now, because they took all this time off of work, they can't retake more time off, you know, real, real soon. So our goal now is to maybe get them out here for Thanksgiving, and this time we're going to put them on a train. Because I don't think you need a credit track to come on on a train. <laughs> we just have to buy them train tickets. So it was very disappointing. So I'm just throwing myself into, you know, housework and just doing stuff. Um, please check out my vlog channel. I vlog on there, you know, just my everyday life, what I'm doing, going to the pool, seeing movies, you know, just stuff. So I have some exciting stuff to share with you guys. I'm going to be redoing my balcony and I'll explain everything in the balcony video, what I'm going to do for fall and probably what I'll have to do for next spring because I learned this summer some hard lessons about the balcony and flowers. <laughs> So I have that coming up. Of course, I have Fall Decorate With Me's. Um, I have some Shop With Me's coming. And some of my Shop With Me's, if they're not super long, like I have a feeling my Hobby Lobby Shop With Me will be on my main channel. But I went to Michael's and they had beautiful fall stuff um, and lots of sunflower stuff. But that little Shop With Me is on my vlog channel. So, because I did it over the weekend. 
So just, you know, bounce back and forth between both of my channels if you wish. Not like you have to. It doesn't cost you anything. But if you want to see some of the, some of the other stuff that I do, um, like shopping and just some other stuff like that, that's all over on my vlog channel. It is linked down below. But for today, we're going to be working in the house. I'm just going to throw myself into, you know, because we're supposed to be at the board. We're supposed to be doing a whole bunch of stuff with the kids today. We even had a big barbecue planned for them at my grandmother's house and the whole family was coming in. So that got canceled and it's just, I miss my kids, but we'll get them here. We'll have to wait a couple of months though, because they just took all this time off of work to come this time. So hopefully Thanksgiving and we'll put them on a train. But anyway, so I'm just throwing myself into getting home, you know, just working on the house, getting stuff done, grocery shopping. And then on our live, we talked about um, meatloaf. And if anybody doesn't know, I go live every Wednesday for a Bible devotion and I'm doing Bible journaling along with it. And we were talking, <laughs> we talk about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> we were talking about dinners. And then I saw on TikTok somebody make their meatloaf with stovetop stuffing. And I talked about it and ev like a lot of the ladies that were on the live have made their, their meatloaf that way. And they used the barbecue sauce instead of ketchup and it totally inspired me. So I think I'm going to be making that in this video. If it's not in this video, it'll be in the next one. I don't remember. Like I film and film and film and film. And then when I sit down, I just film everything. And then when I sit down, I have to like split it up. What's going on main channel? What's going on vlog channel? How, what video are we put this in so if it doesn't make it in this video it'll be in the next one but I think it's going in this one so anyways I'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys talk 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 but I just want to get some stuff done in my house and um make a nice dinner for my family even though my kids couldn't come it's so disappointing and it's such a beautiful weekend too like the weather is perfect we would have had so much fun but you know how I chalk it up to be? Because we really tried to get him. We, we tried to get, we tried to rent him a U-Haul. <laughs> Even though they're not moving here, we were like, surely they don't need a credit check. But because they're under 25, they have to have like all these things to rent. And like, we were like, we were going to rent them a little teeny box car U-Haul to get them here. And they needed a credit check for that. So <laughs> they don't, And they don't have major credit cards. So <laughs> I was I was like, that's gonna be so funny if they show up in here at U-Haul. I'm gonna take that as like a premonition of things to come. <laughs> but we couldn't do it. So I'm just taking it as it wasn't meant to be. So obviously God knew something that we didn't know. We prayed for their protection that they'd be protected on the turnpike and all that. So I'm just gonna take it as God knew something that we didn't and it just wasn't meant to be. And I believe that there's a reason for everything. And even though it's like, it's okay. I trust God and hopefully we'll get to see him for Thanksgiving. So I just wanna let you guys know that's why you're not gonna see any videos on either one of my channel with my kids in. So anyways, my long winded way of just explaining my life. Okay, let's get into the video. Maybe I'm a bird. Like a melody, flowing 
We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that So I went to uh, oh, Marshalls to find some fake plants. Let me take all these out real quick. They had a really nice blanket I wanted, but my husband wouldn't let me get it, so I'll have to go back without him. <laughs> but I got this guy. For let's see, I think twelve. That goes down in the drawer, baby. <gasps> Woo! Okay, let me rephrase that since uh, things have calmed down. I picked up two faux plants from Marshalls. They were marked down to twelve dollars, I believe. Yeah, twelve dollars because there's two places in my house where I really would like some plants and I had live hanging plants there and they're not doing good because I don't think they get enough sun and that is in the corner of my dining room I just don't think they get enough sun so like they they're just not doing well so I took them down and put them on a little stool um in the living room so that they can come like back to life I brought that one back to life that one was like two little plants and I rescued it from a store. Um, I just give it a little bit of coffee water every two weeks and put it in the sunlight and they just, they get beautiful. It's my secret. But if they don't get enough sun, they don't thrive. And I think the two plant, the plant that I had in the corner of my dining room out there it wasn't thriving because it didn't get enough sun. So I picked up two faux plants because I love that plant look. I love the boho look and boho is all about live, you know, greenery. So I'm going to put these two in the corner of my dining room and then I don't have to worry about, you know, them not getting enough sun because they're fake. But he's beautiful. He's popped up beautiful. And then I got two new real plants. These were awesome. These were on sale at Liddell where we would go grocery shopping and they were two for 20. These are like $35 at Walmart each and they're not fake, they're real. So I am super excited about these two plants. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to get those in the room and get these guys hung up. These look pretty good for faux plants. When they're up in the corner up high, I don't think you'll even realize that they're not. And this is an imitation of that. And they look really close. So and I think that's a, I never, I don't think I say it right, but a pothos, pothos is I think is how, what they're called. And they look very similar. And these are like one of the hardiest indoor plants you can get. And you give this plant like coffee water every two weeks. Every three weeks, give it some good sun. They stay forever. Some of my other plants are a little temperamental, but these guys are pretty good. But I'm so excited about these guys. I can't wait to get them out. So I'm going to ask my husband to put the hooks up so I can get these hung up. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for
changed my mind. I put them over there because every time we walk past here, we clip it. So I think he works better there and he's closer to the light. Ah, I love all my greens. Ah, pretty soon, my little place is going to look like a jungle. And I love it. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go.
got this conversation and you seem to agree with me but when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like a wall and every time i trip it's a free